little camera. Little camera. Yes. So um, everyone has been talking about how much chemistry and then Andrew have right. in this movie. That's sort of like the driving force. Uh -huh. um, did you have figured that out before the Well, I think it's important you know, when you're casting a movie that, that, that relies so heavily on chemistry to find, make sure that that exists. And you can't just throw actors together and, and hope across your fingers. There's something inexplicable that happens between people. And you can have great actors that don't necessarily have great chemistry together. And we screen tested Andrew and Emma, and they were just alive. I don't know how else to put it. You know, they come from very different backgrounds. Andrew had done these really intense, dramatic works in the social network in Boye and, 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 and Red Riding. And Emma had come from this great James, you know, this great, you know, Judd Apatow, very humorous, improvisational comedy background. But they were both very grounded actors. Mm -hmm. They're both about finding what's real in the moment, and they're spontaneous, and they're very funny, and they, you, you put them together, and it's like magic. This, uh, oh, I'm sorry. Uh, when did you know that? I mean, and, and, and in the was screen there test. any doubts during the process or any hiccups when you said, geez, I mean, the pressure that you're... Uh, you know, it was hard to find Andrew. He came in sort of late in the process, and when he came to the door, it was a very quick decision. And then Emma, I, of course, was a fan of forever, and I knew all about her. And, um, and when I saw them do their screen test, it was... It was magic. It was the easiest thing to... It made my job very easy. Was it a concern at all to make it different from Sam Raimi's films? Or sure. I mean, th there, there was... You know, I wanted to... There's the Gwen Stacy saga. There's, there's Kirk Connors and the Lizard. And there's the story about Peter Parker's parents, which is really the, the thrust, the narrative thrust of the movie. I, I, I wanted... Again, I wanted to start off with this moment where Peter Parker was left behind by his parents. And, and then he goes out looking for, for them in some way. And, and, at the beginning of the film, and that the origin, if we've seen the origin of Spider Man, we haven't seen the origin of Peter Parker, and that was something that I was really interested in exploring. What about, um, obviously, a lot of people know you from 500 Days of Summer, which was so driven by the relationship. Yeah. Um, did you want to bring that same sort of feeling to this, even though it's a much bigger movie? Um, listen, I like, I like that texture in films, I like uh, romance, but I, I, I think human relationships are, the, are what movies. Movies are ultimately a social experience, right? You want to go and you want to relate and identify with those people. And a great way to do that is, is to talk about first love. I mean, that is something that we all understand and we've all felt, I hope. Um, and it's infinitely relatable. And, but, that, but that goes beyond just the romantic relationship. It goes to, you know, Peter's relationship with Aunt May and his relationship with Uncle Ben, his relationship with Connors. All those relationships are based in love, you know? And, and that's what makes Spider-Man kind of interesting and different than the other comic book movies. These, it takes... A little it takes a family, an extended family, and the conflict that emerges from that is expanded on such a massive scale. You know, all the Spider-Man villains are usually they're usually friends. You know, at the beginning of it, their people have pre-existing relationships. And then, you know, in this case, he goes to his girlfriend's house, and his girlfriend's dad actually has a gun and is actually after him with a bunch of cops. So it's that conflict that we all know and understand as guys. When you're when your girlfriend's parents level. are after you with cops. Right. Thanks, guys. Right.